Today I want to talk about the performance data recorder. Now when the performance data recorder or what they call PDR, you're able to actually set up your PDR so it works like a dash cam. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. Uh, there's a lot of other things that PDR does, but that's for another video. This particular video I want to show you how to use it as a dash cam. Very, very uh, handy. The PDR records video, audio, and vehicle data. And that data is only on the removable SD card uh, that's in your glove box. So uh, anything that's recorded, it's only recorded onto the card. So that's nice to know. And also as a side, a little aside, uh, you can get the toolbox software, uh, and I'll put a link down below where you can find where the, uh, it'll connect you to the toolbox software download. It's a free download and you'll be able to actually view the video on your, let's say if you want to do it on your laptop or your, your uh, PC, uh, you'll be able to do that too. I've got the owner's manual out here and if, uh, just for your reference, if you want to go and look at uh, the PDR information and stats on, in my particular book anyway, I don't know what it that's on yours, but a minus starts on page 131. So if you want to look that over, and there's a couple, <laughs> some important information that says that uh, using the PDR and recording people and so forth and so on uh, might be restricted in certain areas of the globe. <laughs> and it says, <laughs> I love these, do not use the PDR, the PDR if it causes distraction. Does that make sense? <laughs> Here's my favorite. Do not rely on camera footage to steer the vehicle. I'm reading this straight from the book. <laughs> if you're using your PDA to steer your vehicle, please put a comment down below and let me know who you are so I can stay as far away from you as I can. <laughs> okay. Um, Comply with all notices, yada, 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 it goes on to all, all of this kind of stuff. So be careful of those warnings. Read all the warnings just to be careful. In order to do anything with your PDI, which is your performance data recorder, is you need a memory card. And there's been quite a bit of discussion about the proper memory card, so on and so forth. In fact, there's a little test you can do in the uh, software when you, when you put the card in. Um, and you go to the PDR software, you can actually uh, test the card to see if it's any good or not, or if it's uh, slow or fast or anything. And what happened is, I'm showing you my two cards here. What happened is, uh, this particular card, 256 gigabyte card, I took out because when I ran the test on this card, it said it was slow. <laughs> okay, and I just put in this card a little while back, and it says okay so this card is fine this one is slow and has to go so and this one is 256 megabytes this is only 128 megabytes but i want to there's one thing that's really different between these two cards and you probably can't see it because i can't focus very well on these two cards i wish i could but i can't and if you'll notice right here this it looks like a little glass like this and there's a number three in it. And if you look over here, there's a little glass also. And it has, a little glass looks like this. And it has a number one in it. So, you don't want this, you don't want this card here. You want this card right here. Even though, uh, this has, well, it does have a little faster speed too. It's 150 megabytes per second. This is only 120 megabytes per second. Um, they both have a 10 here. That's important. So what you want to look for is 10 and 3. The little glass that looks like a 3. And then you'll see the 10 uh, will be circled like that. So you want to find 3 and 10 right there on, this, on the card. And I think 128 is... Probably more than enough, you'll get several hours of recording out of it. And then it will just start recording over the old stuff. So you'll always have the last five or six hours 
of driving time on your car, which is more than enough, I think, anyway. Even though this is 128 gigabytes, this is 256, I think this is the one to go and you save a little money. I think this thing cost me 20 bucks. This is the car that comes in if you're looking to get a card like this. It's the Extreme 128 gigabytes. They say 32 hours of recording time. Uh, I don't think it's going to be that many. I think that's a little an ambitious and wishful thought. 150 megabytes per second. It's transfer speed that's really good. All right. So there you have it. Uh, so I'm going to take... I've taken this card out and I'm going to put this card in. And these cards are not, by the way, these cards aren't, you know, the, there's other cards you can get where you, you take a little micro card and you stick it in here and then this becomes the uh, big enough so you can stick it into the device. See, this device that we're going to use here in the car, it won't take the little small cards like you might put in your camera or you might put in a, a, a drone you need this size and uh, what I would say to you is make sure that you uh, make sure that when, when you get this size uh, you get the full card it's not something where you plug in a little micro card in the back of something like that this is the way it comes just like this you can't pull a card out of this thing all right and I think this one works really good I've already tested it and it works great so let's go over to the car and I'll show you how to how to do this We've got the uh, the glove box open. Has anybody ever put gloves in the glove box anymore? Just I'm just curious. <laughs> anyway, here's my card. I have the card uh, facing out like this towards the center of the uh, of the glove box. There's a little hole right here. I hope you can see it. I'm pushing this in the hole like that. I'm gonna take my fingernail and push it up like that, and notice it's locked in. If it pops back out, you got to keep pushing it till it locks in like that. And now we're ready to go. Just going to turn on the car and take a look at what we have. We are back in the car. And I put the accessory button on. What I mean by that is I hold the starter button without my foot on the brake. I hold the starter button in for about five seconds. And this comes out without the, running the motor. I'm going to hit the home button. So now we're home, and the first thing you look up is we are going to look for PDR. Do you look at the display, and you say, oh my gosh, I have no PDR. I must have uh, a car that doesn't come with it. If you have 2LT, 3LT, you have PDR. If you have 1LT, you don't have PDR. I think that's pretty much the way it works. I'm not sure if you're going to order it separately or not. It's just an option. I don't know. But anyway. The reason PDR is not up on my screen, because this is a 2LT, um, is I have to swipe it. And if you swipe it like that, my goodness, is that amazing or what? There is PDR. So, we want to set up the card and set up the uh, software, uh, the PDR, so that um, we can record continuously. I'm going to hit the PDR button. And it's going to tell you, oh, be careful, there's a lot of legal stuff. I'm going to say, okay. My car is already set up to record automatically. It'll even record out the front, even if you just have the accessory mode on. So I'm going to stop the recording, because who wants to record the, the front, of, front of my garage? It's kind of boring. So I'm going to stop the recording. The only place we're going to go to really today, although we might look at recordings, uh, I'm going to go to settings. And the first thing it tells us is, or the first thing that we can look at is audio recording. And you have the choice of leaving the audio on or off. Do you want to record the audio while the video is going? Um, in some cases you might want to, in other cases maybe you don't want to, I don't know. You can always come in and turn it off later on, I mean, you don't. I leave it on, okay? And so here's this back button, see this little arrow right here? That's the back button, so I'm going to go back, whoop, I went too far, I hit it twice. Automatic recording is the next one, and this is the one you want to choose, it says choose whether you, whether or not you want the PDI to begin recording automatically whenever the vehicle starts or whenever it goes into accessory mode. 
Uh, they don't put that on the screen there, but it's true. Um, so that's yes. And there's a configure button down here. We'll see what that has to say. Let me try that. It's, uh, oh, here's where you can in configure. You can go into automatic record, automatic recording video quality. Now you have two, two video qualities. And I go to the 1080p. That's the best deal. The low one is only 480. Eh, it's a waste of time, I think, at 480. Yeah, you'll get a longer recording, but who needs more than four or five hour, hours of recording? Uh, since the last time you drove the car, I mean, the last few times you drove the car, the last four or five hours of driving time, who needs that? So I'm, I keep mine at high, 1080p, and then uh, only in vehicle, uh, in valet mode, I'm not going to do that. Here's the big one right down here, allow recording override. Now, what this means is that when you record all your driving and you get up to the maximum amount of recordings that your memory card will hold, it starts overwriting the oldest videos that you have. So you'll always have the last several hours of video on your memory card. So always the last five hours or six hours. It's not going to it's not going to overwrite the new stuff. Only the oldest stuff on the card will it overwrite. So definitely put that on. Now, the other thing, let me go back one more because we've looked at all these screens. Um, the next thing I want to look at is, let me go down here. Um, let me use this finger here. Pardon me. <laughs> I'm right-handed. On the SD card uh, information, I want to tap that. And it shows that I've used 3% of my card. So I probably have a good hour or so on here. So at 3%, do the math. If I can get an hour of video on my card and I've only used 3%, guess how many hours of video I can put on this card? Do the math. Put down below. We'll have a little math quiz. <laughs> All right. So the other thing you can do here, and it tells me I have nine recordings because I've run the car a few times. Now, the other thing, I did a speed test, and the speed test will tell you if, it, see the CAD speed, it has a question mark. If I do the speed test, and once I uh, tap that, it goes into a testing mode, and it will tell me if my new CAD has a uh, good um, speed or not. It'll say okay, or it'll say slow. The card I just pulled out of here, the one that I showed you on the on the uh, uh, on the uh, counter over there, uh, that's the one. It said slow. <laughs> card speed. It came up and says slow. S L O W. That's why I'm getting rid of it. And I think one of the reasons why was that it had a uh, one instead of a three on the uh, that little uh, indicator on the card. So anyway. This card speed, oh, it's okay. Oh, that's good. Now, if I wanted to format the card, I'd hit this button over here, and this button would format the card for me. Uh, I don't really need to do that. It says I have nine recordings. Now, I'm going to show you a recording, but it's not going to be as good as it probably could be in your car, because this is what I've done. And not a lot of you don't, 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 don't tell everybody what I've done here. This is, this is just between you and me. <laughs> Um, I've had this window tinted, and uh, it's the lightest tint you can get. The reason why is I wanted to keep the UV rays uh, off the, the dash. And so the only thing is, the camera for the um, PDR is right here. I don't know if you can see one of my fingers, it's right in there in that hole. If you go around to the front of the car, you can see the camera right here. Well, my camera is taking video through the um, window tint, and it's not as good as most of you will have without the window tint. So how do you look at the uh, videos? Well, you can look at them on the PDR by going to recordings and just touching recording. And then this is listing, you know, the date and the time of uh, the latest recordings. Now let's take... I don't know. Pick anyone. I'll pick this one right here. Hopefully there's a little video on it. I'm going to click on this. 
and the car is running and the bells ring and it's, a lot of times I start the car from from uh, outside the car one of the videos coming up will be a video showing you how to to do a, a lap time like let's say you went to an autocross where the start and finish are not the same spot starts here and the, the finish is somewhere else I'll show you how to set it up so you can uh, grab the video and put all the data up there that you'd like to know so that's it so every time you get in the car it's going to be recording how do you beat that so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I love to tell you guys about stuff I find out about the car that it's, it's, it's worthwhile and I hope this is worthwhile to you if you like the video uh, hit the subscribe button it's free nobody charges you a nickel for it and if you hit the bell, it'll let you know when the next video comes out. Um, and also, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I love comments. Leave a comment. If you did the math problem, let me know what the answer is to math. 3% full. And I have about an hour's worth of uh, videos. So how many hours can I put on that card? There's the question. So if you got the answer to that, put it down and let us know. All right, so um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video, and we've got more stuff coming, so hang around.